Hey look, it's a couch. Fantastic. The term RPG has changed over the years. It originally started as a role-playing game, or lots of tabletop RPGs and such. But these days, images flash in your mind whenever somebody mentions the term RPG of levelling systems and turn-based combat. So let's take a look at just what exactly an RPG is. RPG stands for role-playing game. This term began with tabletop RPGs such as Dungeons & Dragons, where players create a character and roll their 20-sided dies, also known as D20s, and the resulted numbers are used in a way to randomly generate stats for their characters, things like health points, agility and strength, etc. Then we move on to RPG video games. Immediately you picture games like Final Fantasy, Golden Sun or Dragon Quest. But why is this? Yes, they're role playing games, but I'm sure the reason you thought of these games wasn't due to the characters, but more the gameplay. I think you see what I'm building up to. Gameplay! The gameplay. Turn based combat, items and such. It seems the term RPG has taken on a new meaning, which is inherent to the gameplay. Even I'm guilty of hearing RPG and immediately thinking of turn-based combat rather than the thought of taking the role of a character, when in fact, the term RPG is applicable to quite a lot of games which have completely different gameplay. For example, Legend of Zelda, Sonic, Mario, could be considered an RPG. Any game where you take the role of a character, basically. I mean, there is a chance I'm overgeneralizing the term RPG, but I in no way imply there's anything wrong with associating the term RPG with the gameplay in the style of Final Fantasy. So now onto the part you've all been waiting for. I tasked you guys last time to answer the question, what was your favourite type of Mario game, 2D or 3D? And the results were pretty surprising, the majority of you enjoying 3D more than 2D it seems. So let's take a look at some of the comments and see what people have to say. Our first comment comes from Windstar. He says, This makes me want to replay 64, but yeah, I prefer 3D for sure. The worlds just feel much more expansive and you get to actually talk to other creatures and the levels all take place in the same big world you can explore. It breathes life into an otherwise themed level. I guess it's kind of a shame they're starting to steer away from that. I hope one day they return to it. It would be great to see a 2D Mario really try to do something truly unique. I just feel like those games could be made by anyone with a tile set, Mario Maker. Actually, I think fans can, and will, make even better levels than New Super Mario Bros. I feel the same way. The beauty of the 3D games is that the worlds usually feel alive and connected. It gives you a better sensation of interacting with your environment and the characters inhabiting it. I haven't thought much about Mario Maker, but I do believe people will create some incredible things with Mario Maker. Much like Little Big Planet. I'm sure people's creativity will run wild, creating some incredible levels. Something I'm pretty excited for myself, actually. Next, we have Philippe McKnight. Philippe says, I have to pick the 3D games as my favourites. Although I liked New Super Mario Bros. U more than Super Mario 3D World, I believe New Super Mario Bros. U was by far the best modern 2D Mario, and they finally hit the sweet spot, making as enjoyable as the classics, but I think 3D is the natural evolution. I like 3D Land and World, but their hybrid formula makes them fall short on both styles, too empty for 2D action and too linear for 3D. The best game going forward for me would be more open, exploration based 3D Mario with the insane creativity of the Galaxy series. I would also like to see a future for the 2D branch though. I'd love a cartoon style, more or less in the same vein of Wire Land Shake It. I think the animations and characters would be more vibrant than ever in that art style. I agree in regards to 3D Land and World. While I enjoyed them, the hybrid style did sort of leave you wanting more. It was in that area of, it's fine. Sort of like how the new Super Mario Bros series has felt for a while. It looked good, it played good, but didn't have the same feeling of individuality a game like Galaxy would have. The next comment comes from Ultima Luminaire. He says, Thanks for the video. You're welcome. I'm looking forward to more in this series. I am too. Answer, 3D Mario. I will always enjoy both 2D and 3D. However, the control that I have over 3D Mario's jumping and sliding have won me over since Mario 64 and Sunshine. It's the same reason why my favourite 2D Mario games are Super Mario World and Yoshi's Island. The degree of control makes me feel like I am truly a master of the air, and the rewards for abusing their mechanics go beyond the typical rewards like extra lives, challenge coins and warp pipes, and into the realm of straight up power trip. I suppose in a way, the 2D and 3D games have two separate appeals, control being the big one. 
In 3D you have a lot more varied movement and in a 2D you have a lot more simple movement but the levels are well designed and they're also built to suit that kind of gameplay. I'm not saying the 3D games have bad level design, but the extra jumps sometimes feel like they're not really needed and you rarely find jumps which require the use of one of these extra jumps. But simply having the option adds to the fun and lets you pick and choose how you want to approach an obstacle. And last but not least we have a comment from True Extent. This is a tough one, seeing that Super Mario World on GBA was my first game ever and I threw endless hours into the new Super Mario Bros on DS. Then again, I was blown away by Super Mario Galaxy and had fun running in circles in Super Mario 64 DS. I think I'll have to lean towards the 3D games for often breaking the mould more than the 2D. 2D gets new power-ups and sometimes a few new moves with excellent level design. 3D has changed mechanics and morphed different worlds on top of what the 2D games do. All in all, they are both great. I see where you're coming from. I think it's down to the style of the game. A new power-up in 3D is no doubt inherently more interesting than a new power-up in 2D, simply because of the environment that you get to use them in. For example, the cloud power-up in Galaxy 2. It was drastically different from what we'd seen before, and allowed for more interesting levels to be built around it, whereas the helicopter hat in New Super Mario Bros. Wii just felt like another slow fall power-up, like the leaf in Super Mario Bros. 3. The same goes for the squirrel suit in New Super Mario Bros. U for that matter. But as I said, they both have their appeal, and when it comes down to it, it's personal taste. And that's it for this week's community feedback. I have to say, I was pretty blown away with how many people commented. I've decided that each episode, I'll choose about four different comments that I feel are the best. So the more thought out your comment, the better chances of being chosen. And a great big thank you to all the commenters, and now, on to this week's question. What makes an RPG stand out to you? And when I say RPG, I mean the Final Fantasy style of RPG, with turn-based combat and levelling. Again, thank you to all the people who commented and all those who just gave positive feedback regarding the show. I hope these just get better and better from here on, and that's us for this week, so I'll see you all next time. I'll be right here, around the water cooler.